Operation Market Garden was plagued by a series of mistakes and failures on the part of the Allies, of which many were taken advantage by the enemy. Heinz Harmel commanded the 10th SS Panzer Division, and following a defeat in Normandy weeks earlier, had been in Berlin securing men and supplies while his division remained north of the city of Arnhem. As Market Garden initially caught the Germans by surprise, he was sent to link up with his division and secure the bridge at Nijmegen. What the Allies did not know at the time was there was little resistance at Nijmegen at the start of the operation, with Arnhem's garrison commander killed in the initial airborne landing and no additional units sent to hold the bridge until late in the afternoon of the first day. As the 82nd Airborne Division secured the forest south of Nijmegen, the 10th Panzer arrived at the only bridge the Allies had not reached. Accompanied by elements of the 9th SS Panzer Division, Harmel's force would have the entire following day to fortify the position. He would hold off the Allied advance for days, firing artillery at British tanks as soon as they would form. Then, on the fourth day of the operation, the 504th Parachute Infantry Regiment, led by Captain Julian Cook, launched a daring cross of the Wall River west of the bridge. Despite pressing heavy fire on the advancing paratroopers, the 504th was successful in flanking Harmel's elements, forcing his withdrawal as 30th Corps tanks advanced from the south. Though he had been given orders from Field Marshal Walter Modell to preserve the bridge for future use, Harmel intended to disobey, confident the Germans would be better suited in denying the Allies a means of crossing the Wall River. Fortunately for the British tanks, the explosives failed, possibly as a result of sabotage by the Dutch resistance. Ultimately, Harmel was obligated to surrender the bridge intact, but not until the 1st Airborne Division in and around Arnhem had been reduced to a fraction of its numbers.